Muy buenas a todos, soy Mariachi, bienvenidos a otro capítulo este de Raven. Seguimos. Lo habíamos dejado justo aquí después de la charla entre el polizón y la chiquilla esta, esta pareja de tortolitos. Y lo que tenemos que hacer es entrar en el departamento, en el dormitorio de la baronesa. Hmm, lo que no sé es cómo. I'm sure I could help you. Oh, if... Stand aside. If you told me what you're looking for. Were you just getting in my way? Now get out. I'll wait at the door, madam. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ahora lo vemos de otra forma, eh. Miss... Mayors, can I help you? No, I'm just having a look around the ship. Good day. Oh, that was close. ¿Qué se nos ha escrito? No puedo entrar por la puerta sin más. Me arriesgo que me pille. Vale, pues entonces tenemos que entrar por el. Por la ventana, ¿no? <ríe> bueno, no tengo muy claro si puede entrar por la ventana. Vamos a ver. Esta, si esta es la habitación de la baronesa. Eh, o bien por aquí, o bien por arriba. Vamos a subir las escaleras, a ver. Ventilación, my friend. Hmm, a classic. The thief enters through the ventilation shaft. Can it really be that easy? No, it can't. The cover is screwed shut. Pues hay que buscar. Va a haber que buscar. Un destornillador que no tenemos ahora mismo. Un diamante. Un diamante. Ah, pero esto es para el cambiazo. Pero hay que buscar un diamante. O sea, un diamante, un destornillador. ¿Dónde podemos encontrar un destornillador así? O. Oh, oh, mm. Piensa, María Chi, piensa. ¿Dónde podemos encontrar un destornillador? No idea what kind of flag this is, but the pole it's attached to could be very useful one day. It's about 80 centimeters long and looks quite stable. ¿Y para qué quiero un mastil de? Yes, it's sturdy, but it's also too cumbersome to carry around. Me jodas que lo vas a abrir con eso. No, there's no gap to put the pole in. I can't force the cover open. All the first class cabins have their own ventilation. The shaft might be my best point of entry, but unfortunately, the cover is screwed shut. Bueno, mm. Vamos a bajar. Pues vamos a buscar aquí. Ahí no vamos a entrar. No tenemos la idea de entrar ahí, pues. Si no, la otra opción es ir a... Las direcciones de abajo. O bien en... He's not a brilliant planner, but he is smart and careful. He senses danger. I'm afraid he might suspect that something is wrong. I think he's frightening. You look in his face and you'd believe that he's at peace with the world in himself. But a deal told me about his mood swings. From one moment to the next, the mask falls away and he's capable of anything. 
O sea, si pueden estar dos habitaciones, un destornillador tiene que haber. Si no, donde, donde el médico, donde el detective, pero... Otra cosa es que me dejen entrar. Come in. Mira, cuando encuentro. A ver si hay un destornillador y me lo puedo llevar ahí. How can I help you, young lady? Are you the ship's doctor? Uh, yes, of course. You see, that's what I thought, because you've got a uniform and you work in the medical center. Well spotted, young lady. My name is Dr. Gebhardt. How can I help you? What are the other passengers like? Mm, listen, young lady, I, I do not really have time to chat right now. Today is my first day, and it is going mm, differently than I had expected. You do seem a little stressed. Maybe you should relax. Stress isn't good for you. <laughs> you... <laughs> You're right. If there is nothing else I can help you with... But you weren't really helpful at all. Maybe I'll come back later. Bye now. Several journals and magazines. Ah, huh, this looks pretty interesting. Art and culture today. Ah, huh, there's something about the exhibition. Unique masterpieces exhibited for the first time together in their home country. Tireless efforts of Baroness von Trippitz. No time for reading. I have to find the secret compartment in the Baroness's cabin. Vale. We briefly discussed whether we should try to steal the second eye here on the ship. The lack of escape routes and the 10 centimeter thick door to the safe settled the question. Legrand is an important part of our plan. He is the one who will arrest Inch in the end. But there's still a lot to do before that happens. Vale, pues necesito, pero a ver. Necesito el destornillador o algo que se asemeje. The only regular event seems to be the nightly drink in the saloon. Judging from the rest of the entertainment program, it seems necessary. The good doctor seems to be very busy. I shouldn't bother him. Very fine handiwork. The model maker even wrote the name of the ship on the tiny life preservers. But the winter garden at the back of the saloon is missing. And the stern deck looks different. It was obviously made before the ship was remodeled. Maybe one of the crew whiled away the long nights at sea building the model. Only someone with a lot of time and a love of the original could build such a thing. No, para aquí no hay nada. Mm. Bueno, nada, igual se me ha pasado por alto algo, pero... Vamos a ir a la parte... A la popa. A ver si... The poster proudly announces the ship's first Atlantic crossing. The city of New York welcomes the MS Lydia. The silhouette of New York and of a ship, but not of this one. They probably use the same template for every ship. Looks pretty official, with a coat of arms, flag, seal, and all the trappings. And the poster is clean as a whistle. Someone seems to cherish it. The silhouette of New York, and it looks pretty... Vamos a ver si encontramos por aquí un destornillador. Hombre, el amigo. Okay for you if I get some fresh air up on deck? Of course, my dear. Give my regards to the sea. Ya se va el otro. <ríe> Muy bien. Esas pinzas. Pero peores cosas han visto para abrir. Dicho yo que esas pinzas estaban ahí. Wooden salad tongs. 
just small enough to carry around unseen. Bueno, ya tengo unas pincillas. <ríe> Ni tan mal. Vamos a mirar cuidadosamente a ver si hay algo más. I wouldn't have expected you to be a connoisseur of classical music because I'm American because you're young and friendly and radiant someone like you doesn't have to know a lot to get along well in life are you easily prejudiced at your age in my long experience there's often a core of truth at the center of every prejudice prejudice is the reason of fools was that written in the book you once read oh i've read many books <laughs> good books but not my books you mean to say you're a writer mm -hmm. what can i do for you miss mayors you know i'm not planning on throwing myself at a man i'm glad to hear it you have to work earn your own money oh i will My grades are excellent, and I really want to study acting in New York. None of my books has ever been made into a good film. The stories were twisted, shortened, and simplified so that even the dimmest fellow could follow them. I want to do theater and travel. I speak three languages. That would be three more than most people your age can speak. Do what you have to do, but stay away from bad men. Is this your first trip on the Lydia? That's quite enough. Life is too short for conversations like this. I do wish that rather delightful Swiss policeman had come along. I heard you had an interesting trip on the train. It was thrilling. I'm hoping for an encore. Perhaps in Cairo. Mr. Kreutzer possesses impressive technique, don't you think? He certainly does. His numerous playmates in Austria can tell you more about it than I. You mean... Mr. Kreutzer is a womanizer? I'm not talking about cheap skirts. I'm talking about expensive clothes. A man like him needs funds to support his lifestyle. Just go over to him, my dear. Tell the maestro that your family is wealthy. You have everything he's looking for. Money and a pretty face. Hold your tongue. Mr. Kreutzer. Lady Westmark, <laughs> please. <laughs> Or did you have your eye on me, Mr. Kreutzer? Old, yes. But rich. Jezebel. Se va, se va enfado. Bueno, creo que hasta aquí la conversación con la abuela. Vamos a examinar. But I know his type. Parasites who cling to the rich and famous and suck them dry. The young, misunderstood painter. The innovative writer who writes books that no one wants to read. The musical talent that has to be supported. The ladies and gentlemen of high society let the others use them and call themselves patrons. Another word for fool. Didn't you finance archaeological excavations in the Near East and Egypt? For my husband, and I was there myself. I catalogued items for him, and I didn't show him off like a trophy at cocktail parties. But my son was one of them, the worst kind. The kind that sucks not only the money, but also the life right out of a person. May I take my leave? You may. Joder, vaya chapilla que me la abuela. Vamos a ver, uh, cubierta, no, no quiero hablar, eh, bueno, yo creo que ya está, ¿no? Todo lo que, desde luego no aparece nada más, eh, para ir mirando, me extraña que con unas tijeras de madera para abrir unos tornillos. 
He's sweating profusely. Burst capillaries and a sweet odor. I hope the crew doesn't take the captain for a role model, and that they stay sober for the rest of the trip. He's sweating profusely. I hope the crew doesn't... Bueno, parece que no hay nada más. Vamos a ir pues, con el violinista. Esto me lo llevo. Ah, lovely big towel. I hope tomorrow I'll have a chance to sunbathe and enjoy the rest of the trip. Tengo, tengo. Vamos a ver el martillo. A handsome man and a talented musician, but he doesn't seem very happy. Mr. Kreutzer, do you want to have a go at me like the old witch in there? I just wanted to talk to you. Now is not the best time. I just wanted to tell you that I really loved your music and that Lady Westmacott did not have the right to speak to you like that. Really? How do you know? You don't know me. Then did she have the right? No, she didn't. That cynical old witch enjoys exposing the weaknesses of others, although we all have them. She as well. She lusts for recognition and acts as though it weren't so disgraceful. She rejects prizes and awards with snide remarks, but she's angry when others receive them. She needs to know that she's better than others. You seem to know her quite well. I've only met her once or twice, but I know her son and some of her friends. One friend of hers supported me for a long time. No one is brave enough to say it to her face, but everyone hates her. Her or her success? You're so talented. Why aren't you performing on the world's great stages? Fate, perhaps. Or bad luck. My parents opened every door for me and my sister and expected corresponding careers. Overambitious parents who forced their children to play music? No, it wasn't like that. I loved it. I loved to play the violin. They didn't have to force me. I wanted to do it on my own. I thought I would achieve my goals if only I worked hard enough. But it was not to be. What happened? In a more dramatic story, I'd say that I broke my hand just before my big break. Or that I was rejected because of my nationality or my name. Or that I was brought down by a conspiracy. But nothing like that ever happened. I practiced like mad. Got better and better. Really good. But nothing happened. The right people never heard me. I was never in the right place at the right time. Can you imagine how it feels to always be on the cusp of a breakthrough? To be just one evening away from becoming an overnight sensation? To see how other less talented violinists pass you by because you just aren't lucky enough? How terrible. For every star in the limelight, there are a dozen more that burn out unseen. Fading month by month. I didn't want to be one of those people who waste their lives chasing dreams without realizing that they're unattainable. If I couldn't have the life that I always dreamt of and that my family expected from me, then at least I could have the next best life. The next best life? Mansions, limousines, parties. Everything you could wish for. Though none of it belongs to me. The lady called you a freeloader. <laughs> An ugly word. But maybe not so far from the truth. Bye. I move with the rich and famous, and at first glance, I live exactly the life my father always wished for me. A carefree life, easy going. And I play the violin, which I always loved to do. But it's not really like that. It's empty. My life is just a shell. A show. And everyone knows it. I loved something once, and I burned for it. But now... The violin is just an accessory for practicing my real profession. And your family? How could I ever look them in the eyes? A failed violinist who gave up. What does the future hold for you? Isn't it obvious? My hands are starting to shake from alcohol. 
What will be left once I lose my good looks? I'll have nothing then. And so I'll put an end to it all. You can't say things like that. With my father's pistol, I always have it with me. It... It's gone! <laughs> Fate won't even grant me a quick death. Don't you think you can still make it? No. It's too late now. The real question is... Did I give up too quickly back then? I don't know. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, Mr. Kreutzer. ¿Qué es lo que no es el secreto? No. Eh, vamos a ir en mi camerino con un poco de suerte, no sé. A ver, el polizón este tiene algo. Y luego si no me iré a probar, pero es que me parece bastante loco el probar con unas tijeras de madera. A ver si aquí hay algo. He has the enviable talent of being able to sleep anywhere, anytime. He once fell asleep on a cable car and only woke up after he'd already gone up the mountain and back down again. We booked this cabin because it's centrally located. Easy to duck in whenever we need to. Of course, the fact that it's a first class cabin with a huge bathroom and shower had nothing to do with it. As soon as I've swapped the jewels, I'll treat myself to a hot shower and then we'll see how the evening progresses. As soon as I've swapped. Vale, perfecto. Um... Pues aquí no es nada. It happened pretty fast between us. It was magic when we first met. Birds of a feather flock together, and he can be very charming. Daddy wasn't at all amused when I brought him home, mind, but I don't think he'd have been satisfied with anyone. My padre. I don't like wearing hats, but they do fit the role. And I have to admit that the day in London when we shopped for Patricia Mayers was a lot of fun. Normally I don't carry so many things around, but it would have been suspicious if I'd come aboard with nothing but a rucksack whilst pretending to be the daughter of a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. I got this necklace from my father. It's supposed to remind me that money isn't the most important thing in life. If all you've got is this penny, as well as family and friends, then you're a very rich girl, he said. I'll take it with me. It'll bring me luck. Bueno, tengo otro objeto más. I always try to carry as few personal items as possible. If my things are ever searched, they won't reveal my true identity. Toalla de baño. I got this necklace from my father. If all you've... Ah, lovely big towel. Pues... Nos vamos a ir arriba. Por... Porque este no... No use worrying about him now. Vale, tengo una misión. Pues nada, veremos la misión. Mm, tenemos una toalla, tenemos las pinzas... Vamos a probar las pinzas por un casual Y si no, bueno, pues dejaremos el capítulo y daremos unas vueltas A ver A ver si localizamos esa forma de desatornillar Esa cubierta Me sorprendería mucho que fuera con las pinzas, la verdad No, no tiene mucho sentido the bath towel around the pole, put the pole across the ventilation shaft, and climb down with the help of the towel. Sounds like a plan. Bueno, pues ya está. <laughs> Pero necesito no, abrir la cubierta. No Y 
pinzas de salada tienen que ser para pa, pa sacar algo de algún lado. Bueno, vamos a dejar el capítulo aquí, yo creo que es un buen momento. Ya tenemos otra cosa, solo necesito encontrar el destornillado. Va a dar unas vueltas, porque vamos a dar vueltas y vueltas y vueltas para encontrarlo. Y ya buscaré a ver dónde está el destornillado. Seguramente sea algún sitio escondido en el que tenga que ver con las pinzas de ensalada. No lo sé, porque esto no tiene mucha pinta de... Eso se lo tendré que regalar a alguien, a ver. No me fastidies. <risa> anda, anda, que no, que no vamos a dar más vueltas. Que ya tenemos un mini destornillador aquí. Pues lo tengo todo, tengo una especie de alicates. Ya está. <risa> bueno, bueno, pues seguimos un poco más. Visto lo visto, por lo menos vamos a abrir. Eh, ya está, vamos a abrir esto. Y sí, dejaremos el capítulo aquí. Ni tan mal, oye. Bueno, pues me imagino que con el mástil y con la puerta abierta nos podremos introducir en el camerino de la baronesa. Pero eso será en el próximo capítulo. Ya sabéis, un buen like, un buen comentario, alguna suscripción. Sed buenos. Nos vemos.